Welcome back everybody to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be wiring up the Open Builds Black Box uh, CNC controller to the Queen Ant Pro uh, 1515 CNC. So let's uh, jump into it. So because we're hooking up proximity limit, limit switch, uh, switches there, you're going to want to take these four bolts out. There's uh, in the four corners here, we're going to pop this off. And there'll be a little jumper here that's on 5 volt. You want to switch that to 24 volt because it needs more uh, voltage with the, the proximity switches than a normal mechanical limit switch. So just do that before. Pop this back on. Screw this down. Other three Allen key heads in. I believe these are. This is a 2.5 mil um, Allen key. Now we'll start off by wiring all the, the stepper motors and the So we got all the quick connectors out for all the stepper motors and the limit switches. Limit switches have three, stepper motors have four. So we'll start off by assembling the Y1 here. Just gotta remember what you paired, which ones are paired up. So in this case, I have the blue and red, and the black and green. Wire it like we wired on the stepper motor end. So we got the black, green, a little twist. Black, green, red, blue. And when you pull these out, they're a little snug in there. So you might have to just use a screw, like a little screwdriver to pry them out at the beginning. And then once you get them loose, then they're fairly easy. So we'll open one of these up. And we can always configure this also back in the, the controller after. If you do have, you know, say your black and your green need to be where your red and your blue are, you can switch it up with a, a garble controller there. So you can do that once we get this up and running. Put those in there.
and then you're gonna do that for your other three stepper motors as well. So I won't show you that because it's the exact same thing and then you just, we'll get to, once I get all of them hooked up, then we'll get into plugging them in. So now that we got all of our stepper motors wired up here, we're gonna plug them in according to their location. So we got Y2 here. X. And I'm just plugging this in. This isn't going to be final location, obviously. Um, I just want to make sure I got some good movement here. So I'm going to hook up the power supply and then the computer. And then we're going to locate everything and put it in its final spot. This is your original Y motor here. So those are all. And we'll heat shrink these just to make sure they're all they're all good though first. So now we're gonna do the power supply. We got our ground, neutral, and hot. So we got some cable here. Strip this back. Green is your ground. Black your hot. Ground, neutral, and hot or live. Ground first here. Twist. On the side here, when you get this from right from the factory, I'm running off of 110, not 320. So just switch that little switch over to 115 there. We'll grab our DC power cable here. So this runs from the power supply to the black box on the back side here. 24 volt. Left side of the ground. So we'll throw black on the left side. Up. 
cut. So that's good. Put the other one right there. Make sure you grab the right cable. And this will go to your V positive. So your red will go to your V positive, the black will go to your V negative. So there's three slots in there. could crimp these it's not necessary but if you want to you can so we're just gonna go right side by side here with these two so we'll put the, the ground in Have the interface but I'm going to control it from the laptop to, be, to start here just to make sure we have the movement and make sure everything's wired properly and then we'll get everything into its final location. So we are back here. Um, I needed to update the open build controller. Um, so I'm going to connect up and we are connected. Um, I'm going to move in increments of of an inch um, just so I make sure I have the wiring correct I mean I am on the back of the machine so my X positive should shoot move to my left and my uh, Y positive should come at me um, Z should be the same it doesn't matter because it's more vertical but uh, let's see if we got some movement so X positive is moving the wrong opposite way of what I want. What about Y negative? Okay, so I need to go in here and change up the orientation of the way these are moving because my X positive should, well my X positive is right. So my X is right, my Y and X are wrong. So I gotta go in here and we're gonna go to serial console. Thank you everyone for tuning into this video of just getting the machine wired with to the controller and running. Um, we're gonna be hooking up the limit switches most likely in the next uh, video and follow will probably be hooking up the spindle. So stay tuned for all the next videos to come and thanks for watching and following along.